I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Be Relentless. Well, when you guys are going through a difficult time, like a breakup, it's really easy to just give up. It's really easy to get negative, listen to the people that are around you that are being negative, they're saying negative things, they're looking at your situation and it's dragging you down with advice that's just putting you in a bad mindset. And then what happens? You come online and there's oftentimes a lot of people that are extremely negative. When you are anonymous on the internet, you tend to let a really dark side of yourself come out and take hold because you don't have any accountability in many cases. Sometimes on Facebook or Instagram where people really know who you are, they'll hold you accountable and friends and family will say things to you. But a lot of times with like YouTube, the people in the comment section or on these chat blogs are, are going to be really negative and they're hurting, you know? And as Margaret and I teach, hurt people hurt people. Or another way of looking at it is, the way of we have been hurt, we hurt others. So you're going to find that negativity is really going to upset your internal state and keep you from working hard and making real changes on yourself. Margaret and I absolutely love the success stories. And I feel like I have had a lot of them recently that I haven't been able to get to. So I thought... I got a good email today that I really want to focus on and share, but it reminded me that you guys in your pursuit of being the best version of yourself have to stay relentless. Many of you guys will get lazy, you get lethargic. I know, understand that many of you are depressed and beating yourself up, but holding on to that is not going to help you grow. It's not going to help you be the best version of yourself. Margaret and I always want to make that your number one priority, getting you in a better place emotionally, helping you become the best version of yourself that you can be. And if you stay committed to it, really committed to it, there is no doubt that you will have a success story. Okay? It doesn't mean that you will get your ex back. Some of you will find that a true success story comes from moving forward and finding someone even more amazing or something inside yourself that you've never seen before. Maybe you grew up in a house where there was a lot of neglect and a lot of abuse and you've been hurt over and over again. And I understand that. Margaret understands that. And we truly do empathize and we have compassion for you and we want you to realize that your past is not going to affect your future if you continue to work through it and grow and be the best version of yourself. We know that the story that you've had may not be easy and so many of you are in such different places. Some of you grew up in great households. Some of you guys had emotionally abusive parents or neglected or had uh, parents with mental health issues or uh, substance problems. We understand that and we support you guys. We just want to kick you in the butt sometimes and say stay motivated. There are going to be days where you don't want to work and that you want to give up on yourself and it's okay to have them sometimes but the more that you Ignore those days and say, I'm going to give up my best shot to 
do something a little bit better to better myself today, this week, this month, setting goals, focusing on those things, and in the long run, you're going to look back and you're going to think, wow. I mean, if you don't consistently work at something, how do you really improve at it, right? It doesn't magically happen, unfortunately. Sometimes we're blessed or gifted in certain areas of life, but if you grew up in a house where parents were fighting, there was divorce, there was neglect, um, maybe your parents just didn't encourage you to be the best version of yourself, well, you know what? It's going to impact you, but now you're an adult and you want to be the best version of you because it's your life and you want to live with yourself and at one point in your life you want to look back and think, you know what? I fell down, I fell down again, and I fell down again, but I kept getting up and I did and I've told you many of those things in my other videos, you know, difficult, difficult times in my life, but I didn't give up. I kept focusing on learning and growing, and this was what I was meant to do, right? All of those things were meant for me to become the coach that I am today. And some of you guys think I'm a great coach. Some of you may not even like me as a coach, and that's okay, because no matter what you do, no matter how nice you may be, people are always going to find a way to dislike you or disagree with you and that's okay but I focus on what Margaret and I can do our vision to help you in the best way that we think we can and we hope that you stay motivated and really focus on being the best version of yourself and so many of you guys are doing that and I have a great email success story that I wanted to share um, they said, hello, Coach Craig. I just wanted to reach out to you and provide a success story. I listen to your videos every day and I have diligently been working on the workbooks as well. I have become relentless in my self-improvement process. I owe it to you and Coach Margaret, your expertise you have been generously sharing to all of us. You are appreciated. I wanted to tell you a success story because like everyone else, I felt like my story was the end. Eight months ago, I reached out to you guys about my situation and your response was obviously something I didn't want to hear. However, the reality was what it was and I allowed myself to accept it. I decided to follow your advice because I have been doing all the wrong things for so long. It was one of the hardest decisions I have ever had to make in my life, leaving her alone and moving on to grow. But I did just that. On my birthday, she reached out to me and wished me a happy birthday. We ended up catching up and we texted throughout the day. I do remember your video about overly texting and how the phone should be for setting up dates. But right now, she lives in another state. So the most effective way to, for us to communicate is by the phone. However, I was very mindful on our interaction, kept it lighthearted and fun and we caught up. She eventually asked me to call her and we spoke for a couple more hours. It was lighthearted and fun. Lately, she has been reaching out to me, wishing me a good day and calling me in the evening to wonder about my day. She is still living in another state, but it's temporary. She has mentioned that she is considering moving to my state within the next couple of months. She also briefly explained to me why she did what she did. And she writes this part in bold, all of what you said and mentioned in our email coaching. She also said that she has been taking the time apart to really reflect and she's also been doing the work. She said she missed me 
and realized that she would like to try again at our relationship and that she is willing to take it slow and would like to build trust again. I love this because both of them have acted like adults and the ex is really working on themselves and acting like an adult too. I must admit, this is overwhelming, scary, and yet exciting. But everything happened exactly how you mentioned, and all I had to do was focus on myself. I will continue to work on myself and improve. I will take things slow to make sure we are both able to give each other what we need and deserve in a relationship. So, to all the doubters out there, be patient and work hard on yourself is key. Everything will follow and have faith in the process. Keep fighting the good fight because your ex may come back and you have to be ready. In my case, I was ready. And because of the hard work I've put on myself, I was able to build that attraction back and reestablish a routine with my ex. Moving forward is all about establishing boundaries, paying attention to the red flags, practicing emotional stability and communication. Thank you for all you do. Please share my story and give others hope. Thank you for that amazing email. And while they may not be back with their ex yet, they're certainly laying a foundation. And because she has been working hard on herself, she said it, eight months. Eight months she's been working hard on herself. Now what if that eight months she had given up four months ago, five months ago, six months ago, how would she be feeling right now? You can imagine how badly she'd be beating herself up if she said, I wish I had acted as if they were coming back. Guys, really, truly, the personal growth should be for yourself because when you make it about yourself you really don't want to cheat yourself because you're doing it for you and not on the opportunity or the chance that it's about somebody else and getting them back you're doing it for you and that means with conviction because when it's for you it's about the commitment to yourself and really getting to that place where i want to be the best version of me regardless if this person comes back. And when you do that, you will find that your level of motivation will truly skyrocket. And it won't be hard to sit down and work on the workbook. It's gonna be like a part of your drive every day. This is part of what I'm doing to be the best version of me. You won't give up, you'll stay motivated, even when you don't feel like it. That's what people do who are really successful in life. You don't give up on things. How could anybody become a doctor or a lawyer or a, a scientist or some kind of career that you have to go through all of these obstacles, incredibly difficult obstacles, exam after exam after exam, and then huge boards and things like that. I mean, overworked, underpaid for years. How do they get to that? They thrive and they stay relentless on their goal. And for you, if you can do that, you'll have a success story. And at one point, you'll either have that person back or you'll say, you know what? It doesn't matter if I'm with them or not because look at who I am now and look at how my life is now and look at what my love life is like right now. You know, think about this. Even for those of you that haven't gotten to that level yet where you really make it about yourself. What if you bump into your ex on the street in a year or five years or 10 years? Do you want to look at them and then look at yourself and think, ooh, I really didn't work on this or that. And those things that they said about me, they're still true about me. Those things, those negative things that they said about me or my ambition or me going back to college or me focusing on the career or that thing that I really wanted to do and I didn't do it. Those things that they said about me, those negative traits that I had that I really didn't like about myself, they're still there. 
And then, you, you know, you're not going to feel good about yourself, right? But what if you bump into them and you are crushing it and you are doing amazing and life is really turned around for you? You're going to look at yourself and who, who they're with and you're going to be thinking, you're missing out. And you shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you didn't, right? So, guys, I know it's tough sometimes, and I know that how you're feeling can overwhelm you, but the more that you can focus on your goals and who you want to be and stay committed to it, the better you're going to feel in the long run. I could tell you because I've lived it, okay? And so I'm here to encourage you. Margaret's here to encourage you. And we have so much incredible content for you guys that you can share with friends and family to help them grow. And, you know, you surround yourself with people that are doing better and it's only going to be uplifting and encouraging to you. So I hope you guys realize that a breakup and as devastating as it is can truly motivate you like nothing else that I've seen. And Margaret and I were talking about this the other day. I told her, I don't think there is anything in life that will motivate you like a breakup. And so that is one of the things that I absolutely love about a breakup is what the person that is hurting goes through, uses that to better their life in many cases like they never have before. So hopefully this makes you feel a little bit encouraged. And of course, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret, of course, is available for Skype coaching. I'm now on iTunes and Spotify and all the different podcast platforms. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.